Hey guys, today I'm going to offer the mana source a job, Weds or Anthony a job. Now I am totally serious. Uh, all my offers have been serious offers that he could have accepted at any time. Uh, I would say this to him: don't let pride get into, don't let pride get in the way of having a job. So the mana source is very active on social media. I am looking to hire a new social media specialist. To be quite honest, you can probably do it remotely, and I would give him all my social media to handle. I have several companies. I have a photography company, an e-commerce company, obviously the marketing company, which makes the majority of the money. I have an anime company that sells anime figures, and I need someone to help me. Operate social media. So my offer to Weds is a W two full time job. Now Weds a W two means that you're going to be taxed. So be prepared for that. I know that it will be the first time that anyone's given you a job or offered you a job, and I understand that you do have IBS. So I've made certain exceptions、uh, for for you, which I have listed here. I'm going to limit long meetings, presentations, and travel.、Uh, travel is one of the things we won't go to Dallas once a month, and we leave at 6 a.m. and then we get there around noon for lunch, and then we do a presentation, and then we get back around 11 p.m. I will not make you travel to Dallas. I won't make you travel to London. I won't make you travel to Las Vegas. I won't make you travel to a convention.、Um, I will limit travel to. I know travel is one of the things that people with IBS fear the most, and honestly, I can't imagine someone with IBS traveling on a transatlantic flight if there the symptoms are very severe. So no travel. I can arrange for conference calls, video conf video conferencing technology has gotten so much better.、Uh, reducing stress. Since you will be an employee, and I treat all my employees like family, I will no longer say any bad things to you because that's not how I am for my employees. I'm not. I don't like people, but I do like my employees a lot, and I have gone to bat for them multiple times because, obviously, there's no company if there are no employees. We will find you a buddy.、Uh, we're gonna find you a. It seems like from your Twitter that you're interested in young females who are hot looking. We'll find you a buddy.、Uh, we'll hire you in a pair, and then you can tell a conference to each other, which would be safest way to do it, right? So no problem there.、Um, you can have a trusted friend or coworker, and when they, when you need to go to the bathroom, she. Will make up some excuse, maybe read a book or something, and then confuse the rest of the company so you can use the bathroom.、Uh, definitely, we will、uh, provide health insurance. We're going to provide health insurance so you can get the correct medication, and this is more important than just IBS.、Uh, the majority of what we're going to pay you, so the job we're going to offer you is only going to pay thirty-two thousand dollars, but also you're going to get full health insurance benefits from. Who do we have now? We used to have Aetna. I think we have Blue Cross now. From Blue Cross, we are also very.、Uh, one of our our developer,、uh, Norman. He's actually. He's a vegan. Yeah, I've tried to、uh, convert him, but he's a vegan. He's from San Francisco, where the majority of people I know are vegans, and you know we eat healthy. So definitely, we can make sure that you have the food that you want. And we'll actually put a a ban on eating cheeseburgers and stuff like that, which may not be healthy, or a smoothie, or in your case, expired milk, which you posted about, and I'll show soon. So, if you want a successful career and a job you enjoy, embarrassment about your IBS or having IBS symptoms shouldn't stop you. Be open with your supervisor about your condition and learn how to minimize disruptions in your day. IBS can affect your life in many ways, but it does not need to prevent you from having a job that you want. This is from Everyday Health, and I think this is absolutely correct. 
you know, having a job is really awesome. You contribute to the economy. You feel like you wake up every day with something you want to do and accomplish. Uh, you make friends. You get to socialize.、Uh, you, it, having a job is a basic, I think, human necessity because it forces you to wake up every day and accomplish something, or work on something, or get to a goal. So when you don't have a job. You might feel lost. You might feel a little depressed. I know Wedge has said multiple times that he is battling depression.、Uh, it's very depressing. So when I quit my comptroller job out of law school,、um, I didn't have a job for a while, and I was looking for the perfect job for me, which turned out to be a marketing startup, which I never would have imagined I would have got into it. But I'm glad I did. But yeah, I just slept around, and I just.、Uh, Took naps and played the DS for hours and hours. You know, like having a job will focus you. I know that you're 28 or 27, 29, and you don't, you've never had a job before. But there are so many benefits of having a job that is not just money.、Uh, we don't need to fraud the system anymore. Actually, I'm going to Google some. My cat is、uh, very upset at you, Ed. Uh, he's going bonkers. My cat is like so weird. Is that my cat or dog? This is my cat.、Um, so here are some common job benefits that people with jobs have.、Uh, compensation time. So you, we will give you vacation time and overtime pay, fa- family friendly benefits. I know that you're recently married. If you want to have a kid, I imagine you know having a kid without health insurance that could be extremely risky and dangerous. Hey, we definitely want you to、um, have kids, Wed. So this is the way you can do it.、Uh, flex time、uh, again. Health insurance is just one of the biggest benefits of having a job. Is that if you are a full time employee, the employer has to help you get health insurance. Like even if you're a smaller company, we're not going to BS you with this part time work and then don't. 29 hours a week. So then, no, no, you're going to get full health insurance if you、uh, under this job. And it's something that you enjoy doing. Social media, you know, we'll send you again to unsleeve media sometimes to throw him. You know, it'll be hilarious for everybody. Well worth the money I'm investing in. So there's mental health services. So I haven't looked at our health plan, but I'm pretty sure it's very good. But I'm almost certain that it does provide mental health services, and you don't need to pay. Maybe you pay like a co-op fee, but it it should be covered. We have. A pretty good healthcare.、Uh, there's、uh, insurance, life and disability insurance. So should something happen, you you know you have a job and then you can get insurance. There is、uh, retirement.、Um, retirement is incredibly important because you don't want to be making YouTube videos forever. We even will throw in some relocation expenses. Well, I'm okay with that.、Uh, I'm okay with a. You know, paying some money for you to move to the great city of Houston, and lastly, retirement investment plans. So, a retirement investment plan is. I know that in the previous post you talk about retirement.、Um, here, here you are talking about.、Uh, looks like you're talking about buying a home with an attractive young female. I mean, we can hire one of these for you. We can hire an attractive female worker. If you follow this channel, you know that's all we apparently do. Ha ha ha. My cat is going berserk. Oh, he's in. Um, okay, he. Okay. So back to uh, I'm back to my focus. You know, we will actually give you tuition reimbursement.、Uh, it's not something that we offered, but one of our. Jessica is now taking Spanish classes, and we are paying for those classes at the local community San John Chiato College. San Jose, no J. Okay, so it's San. It starts with a J. And we are paying for those.、Uh, we have paid for our developer Norman to go to a boot camp.、Uh, what was that? Mango DB, Mongo DB boot camp to learn that system for us.、Uh, so tuition reimbursement is definitely something that we will be able to offer you.、Uh, and it's vacation time. There's two weeks vacation time. And in addition to that, we go to conventions and we have a blast. I think that you would love it here. I mean, you would love to work at a startup. It is hard work.
that you do have to work 40, sometimes 60, and sometimes 80 hours a week. I know that sounds very daunting, but to have something to wake up with every day to accomplish something and then go to bed and feel like, okay, cool, that was a good day. And it would bring structure in your life. I think your life is falling apart because you don't have structure. You don't have any, you don't have a time that you have to wake up. I noticed that you sleep on weird hours. I sleep at weird hours too, but that's mainly because I'm working. Um, one of the biggest benefits of of being, you know, an employee is you're part of a team. And you learn how to work together and you learn how to be friends. So you don't need to be alone. Um, you don't need to live. And honestly, you can make enough money to move away from your parents' basement. Um, I can't imagine living with my parents when I'm 27, 28. I... I moved to New York when I was 18. Uh, I went to Williamsburg when I was 21. And then from, I guess, 24 is when I graduated law school. I, I lived in an apartment and now I have a home. So living with your parents can be very off-putting and offsetting because I don't know too many people. I mean, culturally in Hispanic culture and uh, Indian culture, uh, People do live with their parents and grandparents, but you're not Hispanic or Indian, I believe. So I think it's impend it's important. I always when I interview people, I always ask them, you know, what are your goals? What are your dreams? And their dreams should not be living at home when you're twenty eight. And that's not to say that living at home was bad. We had one of our best employees, if I'm not our best employee, Amy. When she first started, she lived at home and it was very, very um, tough for her because her parents are Asian and they, you know, always criticizing. And I'm sure that's what's happening with you because if I were your parents, I would be, you know, I raised a 28 year old and they don't really seem to be making progress on finding a job or finding an apartment to rent. I too would be, I mean, I too would be very upset at that potential future child huh like who wouldn't be right like let's let's talk about um and let's talk about mental health benefits of having a job or exercise we actually have a dog and we'll i'll adopt you a pit bull uh we'll have to make sure that the apartment is a-okay with that pit bull but i uh, will adopt you a pit bull we'll put you in a apartment you you can stay in the apartment i used to live in it's a really nice off sage apartment of jobs so let's see mental benefit of jobs leadership and training that's good is working good for depressing all right let's go over that uh tending work while suffering a depressive illness could help employees better manage their depression more than taking a sick absence from work a new study has found the study is the first to estimate. Also, you shouldn't drink expired milk weds, especially if you have IBS. Like I, I don't think anyone should be drinking expired milk, whether or not they have IBS. They might be inflicted with IBS symptoms. It seems like kind of dangerous. You're living very on the edge and we love that in the startup. So risky. Je ne sais quoi. Um, so, uh, this is a collaborative effort, and they found that if you work and you're depressed, it actually helps you manage your depression because you have things to do. And that's great. And that's fantastic. Um, we know that depression is very rampant around the YouTube community. But, you know, having people to talk to, having people, social contacts and supports that isn't just random people online, you know, in-person friends, I think it's very important. I've mentioned many times I value my in-person friends quite a bit. But if you're just an online person I've never seen you, you're just an online person that I've never seen. Your studies show that work is generally good for health. As well as financial reward, it gives many of us self-esteem, companionship, and status. People are, who are unemployed have poor physical and mental health overall. Consult their GP more. What's a GP? are more likely to be admitted to hospital. Oh my gosh, this is just the Royal College of Psychiatrics. So GP is something in British. 
you should ask your wife what GP is. I'm sure that she will know. Have higher death rates. Oh no, that that's not what we want here. The figures are stark. People who are unemployed for more than 12 weeks are between four and 10 times more likely to suffer from depression and anxiety. Well, geez, you've been unemployed for 12 years, Wedge. This is terrible news. Unemployment is also linked with increased rates of sewers. Okay, blah, blink, bleep. People who are ill also are also more likely to be unable to work. So it's like a, a feedback mechanic because you don't believe you can work, then you don't try to work, and then you become unemployable, unemployed for a long time, and then no one wants to hire you because you've been unemployed for a long time. So I'm giving you the opportunity to change your life wedge and just kill it. Just kill it. Some studies go far as to conclude that the risk of health of being out of work in the longer term is greater than the risk of auto killer disease such as heart disease. Wow. Um, that makes perfect sense, right? Like, wow, heart, heart disease. Not having a job is more dangerous than heart disease, according to the Royal, Psych, Royal College of Psychologists. Well, I mean, it has royal in front of it. It must be legit. Uh, returning to works after periods of illness. Uh, oh, Article 23 of the United Nations. I know you love the United Nations, Wedge. Declaration of Human Rights. Everyone has a right to work, to free choice of employment, to just and favorable conditions of work, and to protect against unemployment. Wedge, do you know how many people apply to work at my startup? Hundreds, uh, hundreds. I don't, I don't know why, but we, we have been. Now, when I used to speak at conferences, like small business conferences, uh, Houston Social Media Day, the second one of those, uh, one of the things that I would get a ton of are resumes. And I don't need to see your resume. You are a very accomplished individual. I'm just going to straight out and hire you for. Let's. I was going to say 32 because that's what we have as a job offer right now. But I know. I'll do this, 32 relocation, 401k package, and I'll make sure, I'll double check our healthcare plan. So you'll get a full healthcare plan, but I need to make sure if it has mental health. Um, I don't know, we just, we had an agent and they sold us the, the plan. And they said it was a good plan. So we didn't know, we didn't really, I didn't really dig into too deep about that, but Wedge, I got a job for you, buddy. I'm totally for real. Like I'm 100% real. Like I'm not, I'm going to cut out the BS right now and say that I love, so the reason I have hired gas station cashiers, uh, people with tremendous family issues, like just ridiculous. And I knew, I knew hiring them beforehand what these issues were because somehow they would tell me, I was like, no, no, stop telling me this stuff. And it's we are a family we are a family like outside of my employees and my clients it's kind of like man i don't i mean i'm not really a fan of people and interacting with people but i really enjoy the people i work with and i got to choose the people i work with and i choose you wedge i choose you so i'm giving you an opportunity um, you will find it you can work here and you can Put it on your resume. You can do a good job. You can have health insurance for you and your wife and potential kids maybe. Um, and then in the future, if you don't want to work at the startup and you want to go get a better job, then absolutely. Go for a better job. And we, Amy did that and we couldn't be more proud of her. We actually grabbed lunch with her as a team. Well, Jess, so she worked with Jess and we've been together Norman and I, and I have been together for five years. Jess has been with us for four. Amy was our first non-hire from San Francisco and C is still hanging out with us. We went to Dave and Buster's two weeks ago uh, for lunch on a Wednesday because there's half off games and we had a good time. Anyway, Weds, I hopefully you get this message and um, I am being very frank with you. Um, this is the opportunity to turn your life around. I don't think you want to waste it. Bye. <laughs>